All right, let's get the oven going and preheated. All right, welcome back to my pizza channel. It's the Pizza Guy John. As you can tell by the title of the video, today is gonna to be the unboxing of the Coda 16 gas-powered pizza oven. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the box, it is a 16-inch stone. Um, heats up to, again, 500 Celsius, 932 degrees Fahrenheit. The innovative owl-shaped burner and it says ready to cook in 20 minutes and it does run off of propane. Um, so it is a pretty big box, pretty heavy. Um, so let's go ahead and get it open. And so he has here. And as you can see, um, it has the warranty. So you want to get this uh, registered online. Again, if you need the app, again, you have the Uni app that you can download for Android and um, your iPhone or Apple. The essential guide with recipes as well on here. And again, you have the app that you can download. Um, first off the back, it does come with a pretty big stone, uh, which again, it has the double-sided one with the logo and one the other side that doesn't have it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this put to the side. And again, it is a 16 inch, so that is gonna be pretty big. Um, again, here is the manual and safety instructions. Again, does run off of propane. And we'll get this. And it is a big oven, so I'm gonna go ahead now and pause and put this down on the floor. All right, so now that we have the oven out and placed on the table, as you can see, it is fairly big. Um, I do have the Uni 12 down below, which I would be doing a versus video here pretty soon coming up. Um, of comparing the 12 and the 16. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is a fairly big oven. Uh, my table definitely works perfect for it. Um, it does have the three legs here, as well as the knob back here on the side. Um, so let's go ahead and get that stone in, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get it fired up. So as you can see, here is the stone, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the Uni logo down. Um, and let's just go ahead and get this slid in. All right, and that just slides in there. Um, and as you can see, the, it is an L shape, so the flame is going to start from back there. Um, it is going to come around this way, so um, this is going to be the hottest part of the oven back here, and then of course the coolest part. So uh, let's go ahead and get it connected, and then we'll get it turned on. All right, so let's go ahead and get it turned on. As you can see, we have the knob here, and basically you just turn it in, give it a couple seconds. And then it goes ahead and lights, and you want to just give it a couple seconds, one two three four five and then you slowly release the knob and then you will go ahead and leave it so right there it is on high and if you turn it all the way down um, then again it's gonna be a low flame so as you can see this is high and you have the flame that goes all the way around from this side all the way around the back so um, it's gonna cook some fast pizzas and just look how nice that is, nice and clean. So we'll give it about 30 seconds on high uh, to basically cook off any oils and anything like that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get a pizza cooked in there. So come back soon. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes now. And as you can see, the flames have still been on high all the way towards the back. We're looking at about 822 uh, right here in the middle, about 748. And all the way towards the end, we're looking at about 630 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, towards the back corner about 700 um, so it has been going on recommended uh, 20 minutes again I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes to get up to the temp because uh, we definitely want the oven to be at about 900 degrees Fahrenheit uh, one thing right off the back is you can definitely feel the heat at high um, so um, again it is a pretty big oven so it definitely gives off a lot of heat so we'll come back in a couple more minutes and then we'll get some pizzas cooked in here all right, so this is going to be day two. Um, the day before, I ran out of propane, so I had to get two new tanks. Uh, so this is going to be day two of the unboxing and first cook of the Uni uh, Coda 16. So let's go and take a look at the temperature here. 
Uh, we're looking at about 896, 888 towards the back. Here in the middle, we're looking about 816. Far right, we're looking about 703. Um, so I feel like that is up to temp. Like I said, the middle is pretty hot. So um, let's go ahead and let's get a pizza cooked in here. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just keep the pizza simple. I'm just gonna do a extra virgin olive oil base. Um, just with a six blend shredded cheese that I have here um, As you can see there and then the dough this dough is just a frozen dough that I had made a couple weeks ago um, I freeze it and then whenever I do want to make pizzas then I go ahead and just pull it out uh, 24 hours before and the pizza then um, so I could basically have so maybe I'll do a video on that um, but let's go ahead and Let's get this out Get some semolina here on the bottom. And we'll basically kind of just get this turned out here. And it should just come right out. If not, go ahead and give it some help. And there we go. And let's get some semolina here. Make sure we get a little bit more semolina. Go ahead and just dump this like that. And this is a 260 dough ball, so let's go ahead. As you can see, it's still pretty airy, which is nice. Nice and cold, so we'll go ahead. And this is just from my Polish dough, my go-to recipe, um, which again, I will link above so you could uh, make that for yourself, but let's go ahead and get this turned around. And we'll actually kind of get some of that taken off there. Like I said, not too crazy of a pizza. This is just a try of this, so we'll just kind of get some oil down on the bottom. And you can kind of just do that. All right, and then cheese. Uh, we're gonna go pretty heavy on the cheese since it's not really too much toppings. And just kind of get this. All right. And you can honestly do as much as you want. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and just get a little bit of semolina here. And we'll go ahead and get this to about that size and straight to the oven. Which we'll go ahead now and turn down the oven as well uh, since it is going to be pretty hot. So we'll put it right there. All right. And we'll go ahead and just turn that down all the way low on us, actually. And let's go ahead and get that cooking. And so again, because it is an owl shape, you do want to watch uh, the outside left and then the back, uh, as that will cook a little bit quicker. So we'll go ahead and just give that a couple of seconds. And we'll go ahead now. And get this spun around. And as you can see, that does cook pretty quick, so actually we'll turn down a little bit more. Flame is still kind of high, uh, but it's not too, too bad, so we'll kind of just move it back into the same spot. Get it spun around this way a little bit more. And you want to, like I said, keep it in that same spot. You do have a lot of space. Um, however, again, uh, it seems to cook pretty quick uh, towards the back right. So let's go ahead. 
and then we'll do a little bit more. Um, and let's see, bottom is cooking nice, so we'll actually give a little bit more. So let's go ahead and turn this down. All right. And the bottom is cooking nice. It is getting pretty crispy. Um, so we don't want to cook it too, too much. Uh, but I am kind of putting it towards the end. Kind of get it back over there. Cheese is burning. But really now at this point, you could go ahead and get this turned off. And you can just let the bottom cook a little bit more. That's what we'll do there. And yeah, if you did have a turning pill, um, honestly, it would be so much better. Uh, which again will work, uh, but that bottom is cooked. So as you can see, pretty cooked, pretty good. The cheese is burnt. Um, again, it's just because there's really no other toppings on there. Um, so let's get this put on here. All right, so as you can see, it is fairly cooked on the top. Uh, got some nice crisp, you know, crispiness to it. Uh, let's take a look at that bottom. Um, as you can see, the bottom is nice and cooked. This doesn't look like there's any uh, spots. Um, it is, you know, nice and crispy there. Um, so that is the first cook and unboxing um, of the Unicoda 16. Um, so if you guys like what you see, I do have some affiliate links down below. Go ahead and check them out. Um, I'll link the pizza ovens that I currently have and the tools that I have. That we could go check them out. Um, look forward to making more videos using the Coda 16. Uh, definitely got a lot of plans because again, it is a 16. Uh, I definitely want to try to make a 14 inch pizza and also a 16 inch pizza. See if we can max it out. Uh, check out my Instagram, the Pizza Guy John. Um, like I said, if you like my videos, like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Uh, leave any comments down below, any questions you have, um, and I'll try to get to you guys. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the video.